Stella and I'm seven. And how does a rain and sun make a rainbow? My name is Steve Ackerman. I am a professor in atmospheric and oceanic sciences here on the University of Wisconsin-Madison campus. So yeah, rainbows are really cool because they're a blend between art and science. And it required a number of scientists to actually explain how they form, including Isaac Newton. Light from the sun is made of multiple colors. Not only the colors we can see, but colors that we can't see. And he demonstrated this by passing a ray of light through a crystal. And as the light passes through the crystal, the light bends. And how much it bends is a function of color, and that allows the colors to separate. The other thing we need to know, and this again, this is something you've observed, I'll bet, is that calm water can act like a mirror. So now let's put all this together and talk about how the rainbow forms. So what happens is a ray of light hits an individual raindrop. As it goes in, it bends. That bending is a function of the color. If it goes in at the right angle, it hits the back of the drop, and the back of the drop acts like a mirror and reflects that ray of light back towards the front. It leaves the drop into the air, bends again. So those colors get separated. And eventually, it reaches our eye. But only one color will reach our eye from every single drop. So the rainbow effect, when you see the entire bow, or even part of the bow, that's not coming from one drop. That's coming from millions of drops. Every single part of that rainbow is being developed by one particular drop. So they're artistically beautiful and yet scientifically complex.